In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and save color correction presets in Fimora. This is going to allow you to use these presets for future videos. All right, so as you can see here on the timeline, I do have my video here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some color correction to this video. So you can double click on the video if you have a different layout mode. I'm using the default. So my color settings are going to be over on the right side here. So I'm going to switch over to color. Now, what I'm going to do here, actually, let me switch this uh, layout mode to classic. This is a lot better for me. I'm going to double click on the video and this is where I'm going to be able to see all my uh, my presets here on the top. Right. If you look on the top, everything might be closed like this. Let's close it up. All right. On the top is where you're going to have the preset settings. So click on that drop down and you're going to see that there's a lot of presets that are on here. So what I can do here is I'm going to go ahead and click this drop down and I'm going to go ahead and select custom. This is going to show me all the presets that I have created uh, in the past. This is where they're going to be saved. Now to create a preset is how we're going to do this. I'm going to go over to my, let's say I wanted to change uh, the color of this video. I'm going to increase the temperature a little bit here so we can make it brighter. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch over to uh, to HSL, right? Let's uh, maybe increase the saturation here. It's a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and select that this orange here. Let's go ahead and change that uh, hue. We can lower that uh, so we can get that red look on here. Maybe increase the saturation a little bit. Something like that. All right. So as you can see, I'm, I just added a bunch of random uh, different color correction properties here. Right. So once you have all of these, let's say you've edited your video here and you see that this is probably the best color correction you've ever done. And this is something that you can apply to future videos. So what you can do here, you can go ahead and hit uh, save as custom. So click on that. And this is what you're, you're going to call this. I'm going to call this random because I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. OK, so once you save this, uh, let's say you go ahead and delete this video. Let's go ahead and grab a different video from here. Let's grab this video here. I'm going to go ahead and download this video and click drag and drop it on the timeline. All right. So let's say, you know, I'm editing a totally different video and I want to apply that preset that I just created. What I can do is I can double click on the video right now. If you go over to color, I'm going to go all the way to the top where you see your presets here. You might be under all presets. Go ahead and hit custom. And this is where you are going to find your uh, preset that you just created. So this is my random preset that I created and named random. So if I double click on this, it's going to apply just going to be applied to the video. Now, once you apply this preset, you can, you're actually going to be able to adjust it, right? Because every preset is not always going to work for, you know, every video, right? So if you feel that this has too much, you know, any of these properties that I, I, I create, I use to create this preset, so you're going to be able to adjust them and it's going to show you, you know, how they were uh, moved around. Okay. So if I switch over to HSL, you can see that this is what I did earlier within this preset. I'm going to be able to adjust it to, you know, let's say I want it to be, you know, a lot brighter like this, right? Now, if you want, you can save this as a different preset. So if you want to create another preset that has the adjustments you've made to the preset, it's going to be saved as another preset here. So I'm going to call this uh, random number two, right? I'm going to go ahead and save this over here. Now, when I go back to my uh, color here, you're going to see that we have the new preset, which is random number two, right? If I want to switch over to the original, I'm going to select that. Go back to this new one. Go ahead and do that. OK, so now that is how you are going to be able to create these color correction presets and how to use them on different videos. Now, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and hit the subscribe button below if you're friends already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.